So today I'm going to show you my best advice to get a GPU, yes, a newer one for cheaper. This is going to be both Nvidia RTX 4000 as well as the new AMD RDNA 3, even stuff like this guy the RTX 4080. Now, if you guys have subscribed to the channel, and I think you should subscribe, smash that like button, help us reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We've helped a lot of people find GPUs at MSRP. This is important because it's obvious to some, but there are a lot of scalpers out there and a lot of people that, yes, even for this guy, an RTX 4080, they will charge you much more than the already expensive price. So my goal today is to help you find these at least at MSRP. I'm not going to promise you a 50% cheaper price than MSRP because that's unrealistic, but I can help you at least find them for MSRP. And one of uh, the things I'm going to show you is a little bit of a trick you may not be aware of that may actually work and has worked for like, I would say hundreds or thousands of people before to get a very hard to find GPU at MSRP. Even though we're kind of past the GPU shortage of last year, some of the really good GPUs are still very difficult to find, especially at the end of the year now. We're talking about the RTX 4090, some 4080s, depending where you are. And of course, the new AMD stuff, the 7900 XTX, is going to be a little bit harder than the XT. Let me start by showing you the little trick that I was mentioning. This is going to be with Best Buy, which actually a lot of people do have access to. So what you're going to do, you're going to open up your Best Buy app. Then of course, you can choose which Best Buy that you want to choose, but choose the one closest to you to start. And then let's say you want to go find a 4090 or a 4080. I'm going to put in 4080 in the search up there. This is going to be on the app. As you can see, it says basically all sold out. There's nothing you can actually buy and add to your cart, even the 4080. Now, something like this, the Founders Edition, even though the 4080 hasn't been selling all that well, has been kind of hard to get because after all, it's $1199. It's not priced more like the AIB ones. And it's a actually pretty good GPU price aside. So if you put in 40. 80. Now here's going to be the trick. It says sold out, but then go to your store up here. You're going to click that little blue um, in stock icon and then look at that. All of a sudden, and now it still says sold out. Here's the trick. If there's nothing at your store at all, nothing will show here. It's going to be blank. But if they actually have one there physically in the store, it's going to show up as sold out. This is what you have to do. You can't order it online. You're going to have to go to your store and you can check various stores around your location. Best buys are, you know, pretty common. There are a lot. So you could some states may have like five, six, ten or more best buys. So you're going to go to your store, um, look at the SKU number, and you're going to go maybe to the front where they have like, um, you know, the online pickup and stuff like that. You're going to ask them if they can look up the SKU number for this particular GPU. It's going to be right there. If you ask them if it's in stock, they're going to check their system. It's going to say no. Um, they're going to think, oh, no, the GPU is not in stock. But if you put up the SKU number, most likely, and this, I've done it myself, other people have done it. If they do put the SKU number into the computer, it's going to say they do have one available for sale. It probably is not going to be out in like the GPU section. Most likely it's going to be in the back and like the online area. This is why these GPUs aren't technically ones that they got to put in stock in the store. A lot of these that show up as the SKU number, what they are are canceled online returns that Best Buy just keeps at the store for whatever reason. That means, you know, when they have the Best Buy drops of GPUs, maybe somebody regretted it and canceled the order, but it was already too late and it was shipped to the store and that means that best buy now they have it there but it's not technically in stock but if you show up with the SKU number they most likely will sell it to you some people have bad luck there are some stores that will not sell it to you for any reason some stores did have a lot of scalpers go to and they were even putting people on lists so it's going to depend where you are but i would say you probably have like a 60 to 70 percent success rate just keep in mind there is a chance that it's still there but the employees say it's not there. I've, and a lot of people have had that happen, me, myself included, where you ask them if it's in stock, they'll say no. Um, often, if you keep pushing and you even talk to the manager, eventually you can find it that it is there and they should be able to sell it to you. There's nothing that is wrong with it. So there's no reason they shouldn't sell it. But sometimes you do have to be a little polite, but persistent. So 
then they'll be able to sell it to you. And these are online canceled returns for whatever reason, bots or whatever reason they canceled it. It's available there. Now, the good thing about this is Best Buy, if you have like, you know, the reward system, you get a few points. And of course, you can find this guy there which is the Founders Edition 4080. That's in fact how I was able to get this one. So this one is gonna be the base MSRP of 1199. They do have other 4080s as well, and often they do have 4090s. They don't come up nearly as much as the 4080s. I checked around right now, and there are actually a lot of 4080s in stock. After all, it's not the most you know desirable, but it is one of the latest GPUs, and you can actually get it in stock without having to pay a scalper. So it's gonna be one of the cheapest ways you can get it, because you can get the rewards. And if you end up getting one of these guys, it's actually the cheapest MSRP you're going to find. Now, if you're not lucky enough to be able to see that, the next way is to sign up for various alerts that they have on like Twitter and Discord. When they have a Best Buy drop, you're able to see when these GPUs come in stock immediately. Those alerts often will apply to Amazon and Newegg as well. If you want one of the latest GPUs, at least this is a way that you can get it without having to pay a scalper or have to overpay some other retailer or something like that. Just make sure you're there really quickly when one of these drops happen. Now, other ways to be able to get a GPU at a cheaper price. Of course, I didn't want to mention Micro Center at first. That's usually one of the best ways you can find 4090s and 4080s, but that is definitely a great place. They even have open box 4080s available. I saw a few for well under the MSRP. If you happen to have like the Micro Center card, you get an additional 5% off. So you could theoretically be able to get one of these guys, you know, the 4080 at under the price of MSRP, as well as, you know, the AMD GPUs, the 7900 XTX and the 7900 XT. Best Buy will have those as well, but it seems like they definitely get more on the NVIDIA side. But once again, not everybody has a micro center near them so i'll keep this part kind of short those people that know already know um, if they do happen to get a pretty big shipment in and if even if you're a few hours away it may be worth it to drive to a micro center if you really want a gpu at a better price it may be a good day trip or something like that but otherwise i wouldn't go randomly unless you know they're going to have significant stock and it's not going to be sold out and you're going to waste the trip so other ways to get a pretty good price GPU. Now, the AMD 7900 XTX and the XT, it's kind of weird because the XTX sold out a little bit quickly. You're gonna have to use some of these same maneuvers to be able to actually find it as you would with like a 4090. But the XT is actually pretty readily available. Even if you search up on like Newegg, of course, directly from AMD, you can also get it. It's been in stock at 899. If that's a good value or not, I mean, I'll leave it up to you if you really need a, a GPU. I would recommend you try to find the XTX for MSRP. For $100 more, you're going to get a much better deal. But the XT is a pretty good GPU also. I think it got a lot of blowback during its uh, launch. But considering how expensive GPU prices currently are, if you're in an area that doesn't really sell GPUs that easily, like Best Buys and Newegg, and you want to get a next generation GPU that's going to allow you to play at a much higher level, if you can get it at the MSRP, like from the AMD site directly, it may make some sense. And the build quality is really good on these reference editions it may have some cooling issues it's not quite like an aib version the build quality at least is really really high being directly from amd so it does have that going for it and at the end of the day it's going to perform pretty close to even some of the overclocked like aib models only difference is you're going to be paying a lot less for them than you would for the aib models so while on paper the 7900 xt doesn't look the greatest when you compare it to the xtx let's view the reality of the situation in in the real world. Um, it's easy to criticize people for buying the XT uh, just because it's $100 cheaper and it doesn't perform nearly as well as the XTX, but that's on paper. That's the same thing as reviewers who get GPUs and they can just tell you get this or get that without viewing what the market is actually. Like when you go outside and try to buy a GPU, this is the reality of the situation. You're not going to find an XTX that easily, especially at $100 more than the XT. What you will find, however, will be be that XT model. So what's going to be your second choice, really? You're going to have to probably buy a last generation GPU. Let's say RX 3000. Those are like fairly overpriced still. What are you going to get that's going to match an XT? Maybe like a 3080 Ti or 3090 level. You want to be at least up there if you're going to compare it with the XT, which after all does perform really well still. It's not as good as the XTX or 4080, but it's no slouch either. And it definitely beats a lot of last 
last generation GPUs, such as the 6950X from AMD, such as, you know, a lot of the high end NVIDIA GPUs like 3080 Ti, 3090 stuff like that you're going to overpay for a two to three year old gpu at this point while you can get the xt which is going to be a lot newer and you'll actually be able to find it like basically everywhere has the xt in stock you know best buy had it newegg has it if you search now even directly from amd it's still in stock would you get the xtx if you find it of course are you going to find it easily maybe not if you're patient enough you'll certainly be able to find it with enough searching but if you need a gpu now before the holiday holiday season, the XT may not really be that bad of an idea, especially at its MSRP. It's going to be better than some of the stuff from last generation. And then the other question is, how about the 4080? You can find a 4080 fairly easily, like I just showed you earlier on in the video with Best Buy. Um, they're in stock in Newegg regularly at MSRP. You're going to be paying a lot more than the XT for a 4080. Let's say $799 versus $1199. That's kind of a big jump. It's like $400. Now, is the 4080 a lot better than the 7900 XT? Of course it is. For that price, it really has to be. The only one that comes close and even beats the 4080 on average is the XTX at 999. So if you can find that, that's the 100% recommendation. But being realistic, you may not find it even with the tips I give you. It may be hard to find unless you really search for probably like two, three weeks and you really catch it when it's going to come in stock with either a restock on AMD, maybe one of the, you know, announcements on Newegg or something like that, that's when I'm going to say maybe you should just, you know, pay more for NVIDIA. But then it is a pretty big markup. And at that point, should you wait for the 4070 Ti? That one may come in at $899, the same price as the 7900 XT, and it may perform very close to it. And it's also going to give you better ray tracing and maybe better, you know, streaming, better content creation in some cases, like in 3D, Blender, things like that. So, in that case, if you don't want to get a 4080 and you don't want a 7900 XT, maybe you should wait for the 4070 Ti. But being that that's going to be the cheapest RTX 4000 from NVIDIA, even though it's probably not the best value, it still may be a little bit difficult to get early on, unless NVIDIA really produces a lot of them and tries to kind of flood the market to get rid of the AMD competition. That's possible as well. All right, guys, so let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.